Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm gonna do a classic read today, so let's get to, get to it right away. Uh, I will do the oracle card with the Whispers of the Ocean, then we're gonna go into tarot for the energy check for, masculine, for feminine, masculine, collective, for the connection energy. Uh, I will put some messages between the twins with the Hermit Tarot cards. And I will also pull a card for each of the twins from the Angel Therapy deck with some advice. All right, let's get started. Let's see what we have for Divine Feminine first of all. What is going on? What do we need to know about the journey at the moment for Divine Feminines? Guys, remember that this is general reading, so take one that resonates and leave what doesn't. It could be part of the reading, could be a single message that was meant for you. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to uh, like the video, to subscribe to my channel, and to leave a comment. If you feel like this may not be your reading for today, I have a lot of videos and they're all timeless. I'm posting them on a daily basis with some rare exceptions. So you can just either randomly choose one or see what you're drawn towards. But I would, I would recommend actually going to the channel of videos. You have, have playlists as well. You can do it that way uh, and choosing it for yourself without just trusting YouTube to choose content for you. Okay, single-mindedness, number 14. Choose your, your own path and what is best suited to you. So you ask to not to be part of the herd necessarily or school of fish, but um, do not be afraid to single yourself out and go into a different direction. I think this is pretty, pretty cool. Single mindedness as opposed to, you know, the herd consciousness. What do we have? Oh, and sorry, and for the divine masculines, let's get a card, of course going on for Divine Masculines today. And by the way, I'm putting up my new backdrop tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow. But anyway, the next reading will be with the new backdrop. I'm excited. For Masculines, we have 11, Persistent Drive. See what you desire and move toward that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. Very masculine energy. So masculines are in their element today, asking, being asked to follow their dream, um, to be persistent, to use their intuition and instincts, trust them and just move forward. So don't, what I'm getting here, don't use a lot of energy on planning or overthinking, you know, contemplating. Should I go this way or this way? Is this the right um, thing for me to do? Or is this the, the right thing for me to do? Uh, it's more important, you already have the answer. It's more important to connect to your intuition, uh, to your guides as well, and to get the answer on what it is and move forward with it. Maybe you already know. You're just waiting for the right time and the spirit is saying to you this is the right time if you don't see it yet you'll see in divine time okay what do we have for divine feminines in terms of energy the lovers i like this gemini energy mercury energy choice and love what do we have for divine masculines i'll pull clarifiers for this of course Queen of Cups, nice. They're both kind of in their feels. What do we have about the connection energy for today? What's going on in the connection? Five of Swords. bottom of the deck temperance so balancing out masculine and feminine let's clarify the lovers for feminines oh 
couple of cups it, it, it kind of felt on the side so i'm gonna take it like that please clarify queen of cups two twin flame cards kind of right what else are we missing for once <laughs> the moon here a lot of blue actually like Heart chakra blue, I would say. Please clarify five of swords. So some sort of sh uh, throat chakra activation is happening. Okay, ten of pentacles, nice. Bottom of the deck, six of cups. So believing in true love is what's helping to balance out the energies and stay a course. That's what I'm getting. So what does it mean for feminines? It means making a choice in love so that this, these energies, this connection can actually withstand time and, um, and be fruitful and, you know, progress. It's kind of like almost jumping timelines here that divine feminines see how they need in order to get into the get to the best timeline because there are multiple of options right depending on the choices we make with our free will in order to step into the or to get to the optimal timeline uh, they need to innovate they need to think differently right to have that single-mindedness where they are going to be creating a new way of looking at things that's how the slav could be persistent it could be continuous and um, you know not even just persistent in the same state but it could be getting better and better that energy will be more and more high life with innovative approach for masculines we have queen of cups clarified by the moon look at the colors again again i see uh, throat chakra here a lot so masculines are clearing their throat chakra or they should be working on it if they aren't doing that yet and uh, the energies that are helping with it because throat chakra naturally is one of the feminine chakras so-called feminine right so anything that actually starts from here uh, anything above the heart chakra is considered feminine and we see a very 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 feminine energy in this in both of these cards so the astrological situation especially with the uh, lunation events <sighs> and the energetic level of divine masculines like actual 5d is helping them because this is 5d vision right is helping them make the necessary changes in 3d essentially and have that it's interesting it's a little controversial right because we saw the persistent drive in the oracle and this is the opposite this is about not about doing but about being about experiencing, noticing, feeling, right? So this will energetically help divine masculine or is helping already uh, balance out masculine and feminine energy. And this in turn will ignite their passion more to do that persistent drive, to move forward. This is like this spark of inspiration that they need in order to drive forward confidently. Also, what I'm getting here is their feelings and emotions are taking a lot of their attention. <laughs> and, you know, when it's not in balance, obviously it does draw your attention because you get triggered, you, uh, you know, you get frustrated, right? So they need to take care of that first to be able to move forward. For the connection, we have Five of Swords clarified by Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is twins are seeing certain unhealthy beliefs around family and what happy family is like or should be like right i'm not gonna go into all the different sources of information of where people are taking that those beliefs those templates the important part is twins are seeing what is what feels true or what feels true that's very important and what is a myth or somebody else's perspective because of their own life experience but it doesn't have to be like that Right, this is um, almost like watering, like putting your your feet in the water uh, before going for a swim. It's like um, almost like exploration or R and D work 
to see what is the spiritual path for a happy family. What does it involve? What does it mean that each partner has freedom, you know, but also commitment and integrity towards each other, right? How is it um, practically applied? How can we notice that? Like, what's to tell that we are there or we are not there? Those kind of ideas, all kinds of clarifications are being asked around the notion of a happy family. Okay, messages between twins. Let's start with messages from, that's too many cards. Messages from Divine Masculines, first of all. Two feminines. Okay, I think that's enough. We have, you hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. If I follow you, I could lose everything. Some heartache on DM's mind. I want to get you drunk, and I sometimes wonder if you care. So yeah, all of these things are actually kind of on the sad side, I would say. Some healing is still needed um, for masculines to be able to get over and even in this card with the moon you see she's like falling this person's falling um to the bottom and here i'm also getting there is this sadness those like um heavier feelings that are pulling the person towards the bottom of the sea right so they need to find a way to heal from that or maybe they just need time right they will know what to do don't worry messages from feminines to masculines <laughs> it's funny so we're just talking about finding that balance and healing and the first card that fell out from feminines to masculines is ground yourself time to ground yourself yes that's exactly right thank you this will help speed up the process of rebalancing and healing this love scares me obviously it's part of the emotional distress and anxiety you have so many choices and options and a lie awake thinking about a future. Yeah, so you see all of these cards as, are talking about either past experiences or future, right? And um, it's important actually for both of the twins to stay in the now as much as possible. <sighs> and yeah, so basically this was the message from Feminine. So it's actually about the love that scares that is scary this is relevant for feminines as well so they're saying that you know there is still so much to figure out and you know you have a lot of other alternatives um you know i still doing this wishful wishful thinking i don't really see it happening um in real life yet i'm just dreaming about it right and i'm still scared Meaning, again, that there is less confidence in what this path is going to be like. Less confidence that, you know, we will stay together, we'll come together, something like that. Right? So there is some grounding actually needed uh, for the feminines as well. Okay, let's get a card from the angel therapy first for the feminines. What's the advice from the angel therapy for Divine Feminine Collective watching this video? Again, too many. Let's try again. Just want one or two, please. Okay, we got two. Release and crystals. So release says, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. Archangel Michael is also the one who's overlooking twin flame uh, journey so yeah definitely worth going to michael asking to help you release what you should release and crystals the energy of crystals supports you and helps you present your present situation this is beautiful and i'm seeing with this pink color here i'm drawn towards so i'm immediately thinking about rose quartz i'm actually probably gonna um use crystals myself 
after I'm done with the reading. So yeah, definitely crystals are always a good idea in that grounding and healing process. What do we have for Divine Masculines? Okay, I think again that's too many. Let's try one. One or two, please. Almost there. <laughs> Okay, shield yourself. That's a good one. Protect yourself from harsh or fair based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. This is beautiful. I love this card so much. Yes, yeah, so this will this will help kind of not get someone else get in your head, divine masculines, right? Not to steer you off from your own inner truth. Um, and this will help you preserve your energy so it's not just drained and you're not taken advantage of. So yeah, it says, imagine or envision a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So it can be as simple as that. You can, of course, find um, meditations around this topic, other rituals, practices that you can do. But at the very least, you can envision this cocoon of uh, protection around you. This will make a difference already. Okay, I hope this has been good for you guys. I'm going to leave this reading here. I love you all and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon. See you in the month of July. Bye everyone.